This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash ev9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Join me, 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Aaron Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode... So I wanted to talk on a couple of things, but it, it all, it you know, it's it has to do with this uh, episode. I was just, you know, stretching a little bit. So if my voice changed, then yeah, that's why. But no, but there's, uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to talk on. But overall, I wanted to talk on um, people altering their appearance because that's something that I've seen a lot in the recent years. I mean, it, it's something that I feel like it's been going on, you know, ever since like altering your appearance became a thing but um no it's like it, it just it trips me out when I hear stories and situations when people they just they alter their appearance to the point where it's like it, it doesn't seem realistic you know it's like fam video game characters from 2004 look m- more realistic than somebody with like an excessive amount of Botox an excessive amount of um, breast implants an excessive amount of uh, BBLs you know like when I see all that stuff and it's like fam for what you know like it's in the fu- the funny thing is is because people will argue and say that they don't do it for attention right and I've heard so many stories and situations where that's the main reason why people do it you know like and even if it's something like at the bare minimum all the way to like overboard with their you know altering and stuff but no there's like even though i was gonna talk on a couple of situations there's like the more and more i'm like talking on this episode it's like the more and more i'm thinking of stuff that i ain't seen years ago stuff that i'm seeing today like it's just it's crazy man but anyways um so the one that really has shocked me and i'm like see that's what i'm saying and it's like that person was probably living a good normal life like even if there's people out there that want to like judge your appearance and it's just you and your natural look fam that's those people it, it's like and i feel like it's kind of like a self-reflection of like they can't accept themselves so why should they accept others you know and it's like fam i i don't care what you got going on in your life but it's like to talk on my appearance trying to make me feel bad about my appearance and it's like i've had people do that i've had it where people have talked on my you know my race i've had people talk on like um different hairstyles on and had i'm saying i and it's something that i know i'm gonna have to like live with for the rest of my life but that's the thing i'm not here to impress people i don't care if i don't impress people that's not something that, like, that. that's not my main goal in life. I don't care about impressing people. So, yeah, when people, when they come to me and they want to, well, n- not come to me. They're more so, this is like internet stuff. They ain't no um, p- uh, person that's going to say stuff like that. Like, talk about my race to my face and things. So, but, um, no, it's like when people, when they, they do things like that, and it's like, fam, I can't help it. This is how I was born. It's just it ain't no different than you. It ain't no different than the person next to us. It ain't no different than any and everything that is alive walking the face of this earth. They ain't got no control over that. That's that's their lifestyle. That's how and if they're if they can manage it, fam, that is 100 percent on them. Everybody, I feel like when you're born into this world, you are capable of managing your life. Yeah, life is gonna be stressful. Life is gonna, but you're cut out for it. That's one thing that people need to know. You are cut out for your life because you was born into this life. Whether it's struggling or whether you came from a family of riches, you were born into this life to make something out of it, to make something good out of it. So that, I think people, they just, they need to have that. They need to have that mindset, you know, with themselves. But no, anyways, back to what I was saying. So there was a guy, um, I, I can't remember exactly what, 
point in time this had took place, but he wanted to alter his appearance by getting cosmetic surgeries to look like Justin Bieber. And my thing is, is this, it's like, fam, if you think you're doing this because like women are going to be attracted to you, they're not. They're attracted to Justin Bieber. Why? Because that's Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is Justin Bieber. You are yourself. People need to understand that. That's something where I'm like, I, and you know, and it's like, I, I see where it's like that, tr like trend where it's like somebody, uh, starts up something and you know, they're a part of that trend because it's like, oh, well, I see that person getting so much attention from it. So now I want to, cause I guarantee and I promise you, if Justin Bieber would have been a nobody, do you think that guy would have been getting his, uh, cosmetic surgeries to look like Justin Bieber? No. Because nobody would have, and that's the thing that people need to understand is that, yeah, Justin Bieber, he might be one of the most famous people of our times, all right? I know, that's something that it's like, I can't even argue with that, that he's not. Like, no, he is. He is one of the most famous people of our times. But you don't see me trying to go out and look like Justin Bieber. That's not going to look right. And that was the situation with this guy. It didn't look right. And, you know, it's sad to say that that man is no longer here with us. He ended up taking his life. And I'm like, it, it's just, it's unfortunate and it's sad to see somebody go through some stuff like that. And it's like, all oh, because they're trying to look like somebody. And I'm like, and that was something I was going to say was like, I'm pretty sure this man was doing perfectly fine. I The thing is, I, I didn't even bother to sit down and like take the time to look to see what he had looked like before the cosmetic surgeries. But that's the thing, whether you want to call yourself ugly or whether somebody else done called you um ugly, it's not the truth. It's never going to be the truth. If somebody, my thing is this, if somebody sits down and they take the time to talk about their, um, about your appearance and it's like, fam, that's the thing that people be forgetting. And it's like, well, look at you. It's like, fam, you ain't Mr. Perfect, Mr. or Mrs. Perfect. I'm like, you're an average person. You are another person walking the face of this earth. You're not the next Kim Kardashian. You're not the next Justin Bieber, fam. You're not even the next Flavor Flav. You are you. And people need to understand that. People need to understand that it's like, you want to, like, this is talking to the people that want to talk on other people's appearance and stuff. It's like, for what? What, what, like, what tips do you have to look more like you or to look more like somebody? Because the, the thing is, is this, I, I feel that, you know, somebody that, doesn't like all right so yeah let's say kim kardashian for an example you don't see her going around talking about other people's appearance because i'm pretty sure the thing is this she's probably no not probably she is she is at that point in time in her life where she most likely done seen comments about her whether it was comments from last year 10 years ago 20 years ago whenever but i'm pretty sure she's seen or heard comments of herself and about her appearance and i have to say like probably when it comes to Fashion models, she's like the Michael Jordan of fashion models, and my or maybe LeBron James, but she's up there like on that like and that circle of fashion models. She's either dead center, she's either the brightest person in that circle, or she's dead center in that circle with her own little VIP section. But it's like no, but that's the thing though. People have sat down and they most likely have criticized her appearance and all that stuff. But it's like, do you think that it got to her? No. And let, let, let's just see how much money uh, Kim Kardashian, how, how much, or her net worth think of things. Kim Kardashian uh, net worth. And it's like, yeah, $1.7 billion. Do you think now, all right? Because that the funny thing is, is that Kim Kardashian, she can go around with no makeup, all right? Get out of shape and all this other stuff. Yeah, you're going to have it where there's probably TMZ and them, you know, paparazzis. But if none of that stuff mattered... Do you think at the end of the day that like her people's comments about her is going to matter? Whether it is TMZ posting about it, whether it's some, you know, random dude and, you know, d d freaking somewhere across the world or a random woman, whoever. Do you think at the end of the day, whether she's who she is today or if she wasn't who she was to, um, today, it's like, do you think any of that stuff would matter? No, it is not. And it never will matter. Whether she does have makeup and surgeries and all this stuff, or if she doesn't have makeup surgeries and all these other things, it's not going to matter. At the end of the day, I feel like what people need to, you know, understand is 
if you come across somebody, they want to pay attention more to your character. Yeah, appearance. It's like, because my thing is this. They ain't no different than getting a, okay, so like, yeah, let's say for an example, you get a used car, right? Let's say you, or not, not, all right, maybe not a used car, but you get a brand new car, but this car is like 20 years old, never been driven, never has been, you know, any of that stuff. All you're seeing is that appearance. So yeah, let's say you get a uh, stock um, 67 Mustang or, or yeah, like a Mustang GT. Visually, you're like, this is the most beautiful car of all time. But then when you start driving that car down the road, now there hasn't been no upgrades, no nothing. This car has been sitting at a lot collecting dust until somebody has bought this car, right? But you buy this car. Because visually, it looks nice. And then all of a sudden, you start driving it down the street. Car done broke down on you. Uh, and it's funny It's funny that I say that. It's because I remember when Mac Miller, may he rest in peace, but he had a TV show. And it was about, like, it was kind of like a, like a reality TV show about his life, right? This man, he went, he got, there was a car, I think it was called a Fisker or something like that. And this man, all right, because I think he got like, he was a part of this like magazine and they gave him like man of the year or something like that. And so they gave him a car, you know, along with being on the magazine cover. That car, no joke, all right, beautiful looking car. Don't get me wrong, you looked the car up. Like, I think Justin Bieber, I think he had like a chrome version of that car. Um, I remember Childish Gambino, I think he shouted that car um, brand out in a song. And yeah, then Mac Miller, he had it featured on his tv show car literally got down the road right on the freeway i think broke down and i'm thinking that's that was like one of the moments of that show that i will never forget because it's like fam how does a brand new car so that just shows you that appearance ain't everything not all the time you know maybe it's sometimes when uh with appearance comes with a you know good uh you know like internal situation and stuff but if not I'm saying, like, it, just because something looks good on the outside don't mean that it's good in the inside. So, and then, so that's, that's the main motivation on why I'm even doing this episode in the first place is because... So, for those that know what TikTok situation is, TikTok has it where you can repost videos that you made, like, last year or two years ago, three years ago, like, whenever and stuff. But, yeah, they have, like, this situation where you can post videos, like, on, on said day. So, yeah, for an example, today is the uh, third. So, they'll have it where, um, like, so a video from, like, last year, uh, November 3rd of last year, you can post that. So, there was a video that I had stitched back in 2020. And um, it was of a girl where she was, like, she had to do, like, all this, like, face-altering, like, makeup, um, the, like, eyelashes. And then she even had, like, fake um like eye colors and stuff so like i think her eye color was like brown but she had it where it was like green or something and um i'm thinking to myself like fam you shouldn't even have to do all of that you know like i and that's the thing where it's like because so no all right so i all right getting back to what i was saying because i was you know i was like jumping ship wanting to say something else but i'm like still trying to continue doing some like you know inception type stuff with my uh episode but anyways just you know getting straight like to anything so i reposted the video and uh, some random person commented on it and was all like, how do you know she's doing it for somebody else? And I'm thinking to myself, well, why is it being posted on TikTok? So I said that. I'm like, well, why is it being posted on TikTok? Then they went on a whole spill. So hold on for a second. They might have said something else. But let me uh, see real quick what they, the last thing that they said. So they was like, why does anyone do anything on TikTok? We ask for none of it. Sounds like you do it because you want to. Now, to re give that, like, because I, I know, like, on TikTok, you're only allowed to just, you know, leave a certain amount of, like, you know, words for your comment and things. So I want to furthermore elaborate on the, you know, response that I sent to her and stuff. So... I do TikTok because I love doing TikTok. I know I do it. I know when I post the TikTok, it entertains people. People ain't paying attention to my appearance. And if people were paying attention to my appearance, it's like, did you just miss the point of the video? I'm talking on something else completely different and you're worried about my appearance. That just shows you where your life is at right now, all right? I don't, my thing is this. I care about my appearance, but not to the point where it's like putting me, because my thing is this, you don't know what's um on those uh, eyelashes to the point where it's all like, yeah, it might, something from that eyelash might leak into your eye, now you're blind. Same with like the fake um eye colors, stuff might leak into 
into your eyes. Now you're blind. You put makeup on your face. You have an allergic reaction to it. Now you got like all these scars and all these different things. Or it's like you got to get like uh, some sort of surgery to, you know, make your face look remotely normal. But before you was looking like Deadpool when they injected that stuff into him. Why? Because you don't put some stuff on your face. Now I'm not saying that everything in this world is not trustworthy. It's like, you know, yeah, I guess like if you're, because I know like with me, I'm not saying like I'll go out and about butt ball naked and things, but I'm saying, yeah, might want to, you know, uh, like the fashion a little bit, but not enough to where I'm wearing uh, million dollar suits, million dollar shoes. No, I'm gonna be wearing me some $200 Jordans, all right, some Adidas sweats, and a jacket because I feel comfortable in that. And I think that uh, has a lot to do with the fact that people just don't be feeling comfortable with themselves. That's why that girl, and maybe my thing is this maybe she's just doing it just to test out um, products, just to, you know, add some. But I, I honestly, I truly do believe that when people, when they're, uh, you know, doing like some some cosmetic type things and i'm not saying that you know it needs to come to a stop but i'm just saying it's like you really should overall like if if that if it is the case where you are doing it for other people stop because it shouldn't it should not matter if you go around your whole life worried about what other people how they gonna feel if you because my my thing is this if i i go out because th that's something that i've said with like um when i buy shoes like there's these um bright yellow adidas that i just bought and i bought them because i like them i bought them because i was like no these are a pair of shoes that i see myself wearing now i my thing is this i can go down if there's a toss-up between some travis scott's right and then those adidas if i can afford those travis Travis Scott's, yeah, I'll probably end up getting the Travis Scott's, but that's the thing, though. I want to get those shoes because I want to get them. Now, let's say if I didn't like the Travis Scott shoes, yes, I am getting the Adidas shoes, and my thing is, is this. I can leave up out of that store, right? Everybody's, you know, getting on me like, oh, bro, you should have got the Travis Scott's. You should have got the... But it just takes that one compliment, okay? Where it's me being me. Me dressed up in the outfit that I want to wear, right? Me wearing the shoes that I want to wear, right? I go outside and I wear those bright yellow Adidas. And it just takes that one compliment to just be like, hey, yo. I, I, I can I can appreciate that compliment because it's a mutual thing, but I'm not just the thing is this I don't buy shoes because I'm trying to impress people Yeah, don't don't get me wrong a compliment is nice here or there and stuff But it's usually just by random, but I my thing is this I, if I go out and I buy me a pair of Travis Scott's and I'm wearing them, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to wear these outside. I'm like, I know why I'm wearing them outside because people are going to be complimenting them. But with a pair of shoes, I'm like, as long as I like them, that's all that matters. So, yeah, let's say if I were to go out in public and somebody was like, oh, I don't like those shoes, you're not wearing them. So what, what is you not liking the shoes? How, how, how is that supposed to affect my life? What am I supposed to do with that information? I'm not going to do nothing with that information besides crumble it up, throw it behind me, go on about my business. Cause I and I something that I've talked on before is that you know with critics and I, I know I did say like a couple of episodes ago that I was done talking on criticism and things, but there might be in some cases where I might have to you know kind of give it a little mention. People need to understand that others' criticism about you does not matter. So if you got a flat butt, embrace that flat butt. If you got a flat chest, embrace that flat chest. If you uh you know uh go around and don't wear makeup, embrace that. Even if it's a situation where it's like, okay, you know, you do want to uh, wear makeup or you want a bigger butt or you want bigger boobs or whatever the situation is. You want to be thick. You want to be skinny. Whatever the situation is, you should do that because you want to do that. Not because of what others are saying, but because like, oh, the uh, men or women, wh whatever the situation. Or yeah, even talking about men where it's all like, you know, you want to hit the gym because you want to get all big and buff and you want to impress the ladies. Fam, there's women out there that don't like big and buff guys. And then, like, talking to the ladies. There's guys out there that don't like women with big butts or big boobs. That's something where it's like, you need to do that because you want to do it. Not because there's others in the world that like it. So, anyways, yeah. But it's like, I, I just, it trips me out when people, when they do stuff like that. And it's like, fam, you're, you're doing perfectly fine without it. You know, because when you see some situations where you see some people when they, they don't have, like, the surgeries and the cosmetic stuff and all that... They look perfectly normal. 
And I'm like, fam, and I, and the, you know, and I'm not trying to criticize how, like, how they look afterwards, but all I'm going to say is, you know, like, however, if that's what they wanted to do, fam, that is 100% their choice in life. Embrace it, accept it, love it, all that stuff. But if you're doing it to impress people, it's like, fam, you, I, I promise you, or doing it for attention, I, I promise you, it's not worth it. All right. You're doing perfectly fine with however you were looking beforehand. So, but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service. Make sure you follow or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're watching it on watching this on the podcast streaming service, watching or listening, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Stay tuned for the next episode. Follow me across all social media platforms at T Boss. Thank you guys and peace.